Hi, today we're going to be giving you a tutorial on how to use fresh paint with your kindergarten, first, and second graders. When you go to the Fresh Paint app, it is yellow. Go ahead and tap on the Fresh Paint tile and you will come to this page. You're going to press the green New button. It will give you a blank page to work on. If you look at the top of the screen, you'll see that you have your palette. It also has lots of other options. This is your back button. This is your camera button. And this is your different um, papers choice button. So if you choose this button, you can use your finger or your stylus as well. Then you'll see that you have different canvas choices and different paper choices as well. This button over here will also take you to a new page if you want to start a project and then you've decided to cancel it. Every time you tap the paper, your page will appear for you to begin working with. When you want to get your palette back, you will take your finger on the top black bezel and slide down. When you release it, your palette returns. Let's go back to choose what tools we're going to look at today. At the top here, you will see that you can make the thickness of the brush lines thinner or thicker depending on pressing the plus or minus. Let's go ahead and start with our watercolors. I'm just going to quickly show you what each brush does. Once again, you can either use your stylus to make the markings or your finger. I'm going to choose purple and touch my screen so I have something to show you. This is what your first line looks like. They're watercolors, so they will not come out in very dark. Go ahead and slide back at the top to get your palette back. You'll get your next brush, and again, making a line. You have the fan brush, tapping your paper to get the page back. And to get our last brush, this is the biggest one they offer, touch the paper and now you have your biggest brush. To go ahead and clear this, I'm going to go back to the top for my tools and hit the, the button with the six rectangles on it and that's going to clear my page. And now let's take a look at the oil brushes. They look exactly the same as the watercolor brushes, but the effect on the page will be completely different when you use them. You'll also notice in the palette itself, the paint changes once you've chosen it. It looks a little bit splattered, so that way you'll know that you do have it on your brush. If you go ahead and tap the paper, you will see the first oil brush that you can use. Grabbing my palette again, choosing the fourth brush, tap the paper, make a choice. And let's go ahead and choose our last brush. This one is green, but you can choose any color you prefer. I kind of like the green, we'll stick with it. Touch the paper, and now you can make a line here. The harder you press with your stylus or your finger, the better the impression. We now have the pencils. These pencils go from hardness from left to right, so your hardest pencils are on the left, and the softest pencil is all the way to the right. They won't look a lot different in the very beginning, but let's go ahead and choose one. And I'll choose um, a black color this time. Tap your paper and you can go ahead and write with that pencil. The last choice we have would be the softest pencil, so it's going to make the darkest mark on the paper. The last um, set of tools we have here are our oil pastels and you can go ahead and choose any one. The only difference in these is the first three have rounded tips and the other three have square tip. Um, it gives you a little bit different edge when you stop and start. Otherwise, I haven't found much difference um, between them. So you can choose one and choose any color you prefer. Go ahead and touch the paper and you'll see what the line looks like when you draw with it. And go ahead and grab that black bezel again to get a flat one. 
and you'll see how it looks just a little different, not much. The oil pastels, of course, have the brightest of, of um, colors and contrast on the papers. Go ahead and go back and look up here at our palette, and I'm going to go back to the oil pastels so you can see um, that palette. If you look over here to the left, you'll notice there's an eraser. So, of course, the eraser works just like an eraser would. This next one that looks like a piece of chalk is actually a blender tool. Let's go ahead and choose um, a brush here and a color and touch your paper. When you make marks with your finger, the harder you press, the deeper the color will be. If you look down here at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a back arrow. If you press that, it will erase what you have done. If you look over here to this button, it looks like a fan, and that's exactly what it is. If you press this button, it'll start spinning, and what it's doing is draw, drying the paint. So that way, if you come back to your tools, grab another tool, change the color, you can go back and now you will not actually be smearing the paint. If I hadn't hit the fan on that, it would have smeared the paint, just as any normal paint would work. When I have finished a piece of art, if I am ready to save it, I will go ahead and hit the save button and that will save my picture. If we go back to the back arrow on the fresh paint, you'll see um, my pictures that were saved. Once again, your students can use their stylus or their finger to do anything on their paper. Depends on what brush they've chosen. You can use your finger to fill things in a little bit more quickly than some of the brushes do. Or use the stylus. Your students can create anything their imaginations can come up with. Once you're done, it is saved for you. And when you go back to your fresh paint screen, you'll see your art that you made.